kind of move away from the wind. Hello, um, I'm happy to be here today. Um, finally, we are doing this. Uh, we are doing it live. Um, yeah, thank everyone uh, for joining me. I'm so happy. It's one minute to six, one minute to starting time. And uh, we are going to be starting very soon. Okay, so can we all look at my fine face? <laughs> Before it's 6 p.m. It's good that this is working. Eh? When the internet is good, everybody's always just happy. <laughs> I'm so happy that we are doing this live. I hope enough people are able to join. And we're able to have a nice session, an interactive session. Uh, so good, so good to the live. When internet is good, things just always go on really nice. Okay, so it's um, 6 p.m. Thank you, everybody, for coming. If you are here, okay, my voice, I guess my voice is not loud enough. Do you know what? Let me just tell you something. Right now, I'm holding my phone with my hand to um, shoot this video. Because I, I have my tripod, I have everything, but I'm finding it hard um, getting my screen to um, rotate and lock itself. You know, I don't know. I'm finding it. I don't know. I'm just finding it hard. You get so um, well because once I put use the tripod and I make it stay there, the um, the camera just you know turns my head sideways, and when I try to rotate the uh, when I try to rotate the screen back. 
it locks it up so i have to hold it to have it in the landscape all right i think i need to stop babbling now and get into the webinar straight because i mean for the sake of the people that um are gonna have to watch the replay of this it's important that we get into its streets. All righty. So when you come here and you see us, just indicate. When you come, just indicate in the comment section that you are around. So, for example, you say, hi, my name is um, whatever your name is. Hi, my name is Kemi. And I'll say, hi, Kemi. I'll just greet you. So just let, let, let me know that um, you're around. All right. So I want to open the webinar questions down so that as you guys are asking your questions, I can... As you're asking your questions, I can um, see them and answer them. All right. So, straight into the agenda of the day. Um, yeah, as we all know, my name is Atilola Murumfulu. I am a holistic practitioner of trichology. Um, I'm a certified trichologist, if you can put it that way. I have a degree in advanced cosmetic sciences science sorry so i'm the founder of african naturalistas in lagos nigeria the leading hair care brand in the leading natural hair care brand in lagos um it's so ha it's so good to be with you guys i love talking about hair everything that has to do with hair I um, I get excited. It gives me joy. It gives me, you know, I just I just like helping ladies to develop their hair. But I mean, we'll talk about that later. But my name is Atila Lamufolu. I am a mother of one, a wife of one. I am a spoken word artist. I'm a writer. I'm a blogger, and I love everything about hair, healthy hair. Even using my journey, you know, to help people. I am an expert. I, if you have anything, I mean, if you're having any issues with the video, just put it in the comment section so I can know because I can hear myself. I've, I've muted all the earphones so that I can concentrate on this webinar. Um, I can see people are joining us. If you join us, just holler so that um, via the comment, um, the question box, so that I can greet you um, as you join us. Okay, so I love talking about everything hair. I, it gives me joy to help ladies grow their hair short or long, depending on how they want it, what, they, what exactly they want to do with their hair. So that, that gives me joy. I, I, uh, I'm a, some people call me a hair expert. I help people grow healthy hair. I help people manage hair and scalp disorders ah and you last said i didn't send reminders this time i'm wondering because i also registered for the webinar and the remind the reminders are supposed to be automatic and i don't know why the reminders didn't go out i really i mean i don't know maybe i'm going to change the webinar platform you get but i, don't, I really don't know because even i didn't get the reminders you get so i think what i would quickly do right now is to um, pull out the um, the the list of everyone who attended right now. I can do that while I'm still talking about the webinar and um, send everybody a webinar reminder because I, I really want everybody to be reminded and I'm so shocked that this thing didn't send it out. Anyway, thank you, Anila, for bringing that to my notice. Then, BB, thank you. I can see you. Thank you for attending. I hope that everybody learns from um, this webinar. So, yeah, as I'm sending reminders out manually now, I will also um, continue with the webinar. Okay, so yeah, it gives me joy to to um, it gives me joy to to help ladies grow their hair long. Um, I'm, I'm very happy to be doing this. I, I don't know. I, I'm just, oh, it just gives me joy. Okay. So, um, 
What's the next thing on my agenda? The next thing on my agenda is to tell you guys to introduce yourselves. As everybody comes, just keep introducing yourselves. Keep introducing yourselves. Um, okay. As I said, African naturalistas is um, something I founded um, based on purely passion. But now, <laughs> more than, it takes more than passion to keep such things going. But it was something I founded um, based on uh, passion. Um, so... We have a hair clinic, a hair blog, and uh, our hair products. And we also have this um, regimen um, thing that we help people do. Um, we, we, we plan to just revolutionize the hair industry in Nigeria. I pray um, um, God helps us with that. Um, that's basically it about Africa. I'm trying to make sure that I don't waste too much time talking about because we have a lot to discuss today and we have just one hour to get this thing going. So, yeah, that's basically what African Naturalistas is about. And um, if you have any question concerning African Naturalistas, you can also ask, which I'm going to be treating questions and answers at the end of this video. If you have anything, you can also ask. Then... As I said, my vision is to help women grow long, healthy hair or short, healthy hair, depending on your goals. But your hair, I mean, we have so really lovely hair in Nigeria and you have no reason why you cannot grow long, healthy hair. Cause, um, I mean, considering how lovely and, I, and I'm not saying that to patronize, um, to patronize us. But our hair is really good. You get if only we knew. So it will break my heart to see um, people not grow, not growing their hair long, not growing their hair healthy because of ignorance, basically, or some other things. Some people, they are not ignorant. They just are unfortunate. Um, it's, it's really going to, um, it really breaks my heart. So whenever I, whenever I help one lady or one child or one girl or anybody out there um to grow their hair i'm always very happy or to have their hair in a healthy state i'm always very happy um so the webinar you registered for is going live now yeah i'm going to be done with this uh, manual reminder in the next one minute so I'm always very happy to um, to help people, you know, grow their hair. So, um, yeah, that's my passion. That's my passion. I'm making money from it, even though the money is not plenty. Yeah, but <laughs> I'll try to babble till I get the, uh, get to the to do this thing. Okay, so yeah, we start the webinar now. Now, this is it. I've decided that anytime. Because this is like a classroom setting and I want to bond with everybody that is listening to me. I've decided that whenever we have a webinar, I'm going to give you guys one light gist about me. Maybe for like one minute, two minutes, um, whatever. I would be, anytime I come, I'm going to tell you something nice about me. Just to make you guys, help you guys to know me better, to see the human side of me. And just, it's not about hair, 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 hair. Everything about that lies about hair. So, yeah. So, my brother's wedding was um, last week. It was really nice. We had so much fun. It was um, at Abu Dhabi. So, I traveled all the way to Abu Dhabi to... Um, with my family, friends from Nigeria, Canada, the United States, South Africa, the United Kingdom. We all traveled there for my brother's wedding and it was so beautiful. I'd been so tensed up. I'd gone through a lot of stressful situations in Nigeria. And um, I'd gone through a lot of stressful situations in Nigeria. And I was getting to the point where I was going to just start killing people because it, I was so tense. Things were not working. My account was empty. Navdak was giving me issues. Resellers were giving me issues. People were not remitting money. It was, I was just, you know, I just, I'd had it. 
you get so um it was just a good time for me to get away so uh i'm so happy that the wedding went well um i had an incident with my um dress not working fine but at the end of the day things went beautifully well and i'm i'm saying a happy married life to me i mean i said to me <laughs> sorry i'm not getting married again to my brother and his beautiful bride right now i'm not in nigeria oh which is why the internet is like seamless i wish the this could be um like this all the time i'm so happy like i wish right now i'm using airtel i mean i said airtel sky 5g not sky is this sky i'm using virgin media sorry 5g and everything is just seamless i mean you guys that joined the webinar last time you can remember the incidents that we had um it was so terrible but i don't know if i'm going to be able, i mean i'm just on vacation i'm going back home next week or so so i don't know if i'm we'll try this with a live webinar next next month also i pray that it holds up if it doesn't hold up then we'll have to be doing pre-recorded webinar which is going to be um so painful for me because live webinars are the way to go there i can teach people how to make cosmetics i can have my classes i can teach people how to i can teach i can my q and a it will, will be seamless everything will be fine i don't have to do a backup video like yesterday i did a backup video for this so that in case the internet messed up with my nigerian experience i would have been i will also be able to do i mean um i would just put the backup video off anyway so that's the gist i'm happy i'm relaxed i'm this i'm not hearing about guari or saraki or the fact that it's changing parties and i mean just relaxed and by the time i get home next week i will be dealing with whatever i need to deal with so psh, now it's over the gist is over let's get down to serious business see my straight face can you see my straight face that's my serious face <laughs> all right so let's move on yep so the the um uh, today we are going to be talking about principles of air damage now i want to say something and i want you guys to listen to this and understand nobody is born with damaged hair nobody is born with damaged hair we are born with different kinds of hair we can our hair can be full can be sparse can be soft can be thick thin whatever but our hair is never damaged i mean when i mean our hair i mean we don't come with damaged hair we don't come without no, when you're created and you're born and you're one year old and you're a baby or whatever you are your hair is not damaged you get so um you didn't come with damaged hair basically so the thing that is that some people's hair are more prone to damage than others um uh, your um how should i put it because of the uniqueness of the kind of hair you have your hair can be more prone to damage than another person's hair you get but your hair is not wasn't wasn't created damaged so it's left for you to know the kind of hair see my hair <laughs> it's left for you to know the kind of hair that you have it's left for you to study your own hair you get uh, like i mentioned in the last webinar the we have our hair it has the medulla i mean the cortex and the cortical the medulla is the inner parts of the hair um that's the not everyone has the medulla even the tiny strands of your hair don't have the medulla they are just like the middle middle parts some people's hair don't have the medulla um you have the cortex and you have the cortical the cortex is the part that carries the life of the hair while the cortical is the one we see with our physical eyes i know i mentioned this last webinar um so okay if some people have joined us if you've joined us just um say hi in the com in the question section so that i can say hi to you i like saying hi. i mean it's just i just want to have that classroom feel where i'm getting 
uh, people. Yes, the, uh, yeah, the, yeah, in, yeah, you now know why the internet is on fire. The internet is on fire because I'm not in Nigeria. I hope the internet will be off. Nigeria is getting better. We are better. Anyway, so the corticals. Hi, Afi. I can see your questions. Afi, I'm going to be answering Q&A. We're going to be taking Q&A in the last 20 minutes of this webinar. Okay, just keep uh, all your questions. Just pu keep putting it down. So far, it has to do with air damage. I'm going to be treating it with air damage. Just keep asking it. I'll, I'll answer at the end of the, of the webinar. So... You, your, your hair is not damaged as i was saying your hair is not damaged um you have the cortex the cortex is like the i'm going to show you guys diagrams today uh I'm, no one diagram not like diagrams but your hair has the corticals which is what we see if you put your hair under the microscope you are going to see the corticals and you have the cortex which is the part that carries the life of the hair is the part that has the blood flow, the bonds, everything about the hair that I talked about last webinar is in your cortical. But the cortical is covered by the cortex. So, um, this is it here. Um, you have it here. So, this is your medulla, the part that some places have. This is your um, cortex. This is the part, all these bones, which I talked about last time. This is the part that determines every. See what you see with your physical eyes. This is where it happens. And this is the cortical. This part is like the, the fish scale, which I'm going to be talking about later. This is it. This is fine hair. This is coarse hair, which is basically the middle everybody most nigerians can relate with this like so your fine hair maybe the nape of your hair the edges and all this is most likely for most people these lines here are the scales these are the corticals of your hair so you can see these are the corticals of your hair they are like fish scales meaning you know the way when you're scaling your fish and you take a knife oh my earring has fallen off so if I go back and my earring is off, just know, you guys bear with me. All right, so this is the um, scale of the hair. It raises, when you put a product or water or anything or whatever, for normal hair, this cortical has the ability to rise, to raise itself, absorb whatever products it is or whatever thing you put into your hair and then lie flat. That is basically what I'm talking about. This rises up, this fish scale lifting takes the product in to the cortex, takes the product in to this place, eh? And does whatever it wants to do and it lays flat back. Yeah. So that is it. Um, so uh, I hope if um, if you if you don't understand anything, please answer me. I mean, ask me. I will go back when I'm taking the question and answer um, session. All right. So when um, when you when you put products in your hair, your your your, your corticals they lift up, they absorb the products, and they they do whatever it is they want to do. To your hair and the life flat and now your hair is also a ph of 4.5 to 5.5 um your hair is a ph of 4.5 to 5.5 meaning it's in the naturally acidic states you get not too acidic but slightly acidic our hair our skin but now this is where the hair damage comes in once the states of your corticals are changed meaning once the your, your corticals are they're permanently lifted up and they do not rest against the cortex. Your hair is said to be damaged. Once the corticals rise and they do not rest back, your hair is said to be damaged. Also, once the pH level of your hair has changed from maybe acidic, permanently acidic or to permanently alkaline, your hair is considered to be damaged. So this is the principle here. Once your hair corticals have risen and are not lying flat again, or your hair corticals are gone, or your hair corticals are messed up, or once your P the pH level of your hair is 
totally out of whack, your hair is said to be damaged. That is the principle guiding hair damage. Every other thing that we see with our physical eyes, my hair is breaking, my hair is cutting, my hair is this, my hair is that. If they bow down to that principle, if your hair is pH balance is well, your cuticles are fine, everything is fine, then your hair is in an optimum state. But once these two factors are out of whack, your hair is said to be damaged. All right, I think we are doing fine with time. Um, now that we have established that we do not come with damaged hair, um, we didn't come with the damaged hair, right? God did not create us with damaged hair, but our hair got damaged along the way. Now that that has been established, it means that when your hair gets damaged, meaning when your corticles are risen and are not lying flat again, or the pH balance is out of whack, it means that the damage most likely came from something you did. Meaning, you did it knowingly or unknowingly. It is something you did that caused your hair damage. And I'm not talking about hair loss now. Today, we are not treating hair loss. We are not treating, treating illnesses. You know, some people, they have issues with hair loss, either due to hereditary, you know, people dealing with androgenic alopecia, with illnesses, with hormonal imbalance. I'm not talking of those things. We will treat those ones in... I mean, other webinars. I'm talking about the damage of your hair strands itself. Once your hair strands have got, I mean, once they're out of work, once there's, you are dealing with a, an issue of air damage, please, let's, um, let's take a step back. I said air damage is when your cuticles have risen and they're not going back down or they've completely gone off your hair or when, when your, um, your pH balance is out of whack. Once those things are in, um, they are in place, that's air damage. And the air damage is as a result of something you did, knowingly or unknowingly. It is most likely always something that you as a human being, as a person, did to your hair. And this is bad news and it's also good news. But it's most likely um, good news all the way. All right. Uh, that's how I choose to see it anyway. I always see it as good news. If it's if it's your fault, then it's, it's always good news. And you understand that the reason why that is um, before the webinar is over. So now I will list some, some of the things that causes this hair damage because um, there's no reason why I'm going to be having this webinar if I cannot point out why, what causes this hair damage. And the reason why I'm listing them is because when I list them, if you already have damaged hair, you can take, you know, you can look at the things I'm, I've talked about and be true to yourself and say, okay, you know, this is what Atilola said I've, my, can cause hair damage. What is it that I did? Where did I go wrong? When I list them, you ask yourself, where did I go wrong? Among all these things that Atlola listed, where did I go wrong? Which of these things could have caused my own hair damage? And if your hair is not damaged, if you have healthy hair like mine, um, if your hair is not damaged, then you can watch out for these things so that you will stay away from them so that you won't have hair damage. Can you guys quick, let me quickly gist you guys about this, my front hair. So, you know, I had um, my baby last year. So, this was, my hair just pulled, my hair pulled out. Was it in April or something? <sighs> my hair pulled out. So, this is the, is growing back from my postpartum shedding. So, that's why, yeah, my hair has always been full, but that thing just, just pulled out and my hair was bald in these two places. In fact, I didn't know when this one pulled out. But I knew when this one pulled out anyway. So yeah, that's the story of my life. Post, this is postpartum shedding. If you don't know about postpartum shedding, I'll just you guys in another. But most pregnant women, are, I mean, most new mothers always go through it anyway. So it's a good thing. Okay, so if you are here, if you are just joining us, please say hi in the comment section. Or in the, um, uh, 
Yeah, Anyola, yeah, Anyola asked a question. I am going to answer that at the end of the of the of the webinar. So the um, all right. So yes, these are the things that you could have. I mean, that you have been doing that could have caused your hair damage. And if you don't have hair damage. These are the things for, that you should stay away from. Number one, the ultimate, which I'm sure all of us know about, chemicals. Yes. When you use chemicals such as relaxers on your hair, they are very alkaline. Remember I told you that our the pH level of our hair is 4.5 to 5.5. When you use chemi um, chemicals such as relaxers, um, the relaxers have a pH of 12 to 14. Now, the thing there is, when we talk about pH, people just think, oh, our pH is 5.5. The pH of relaxers are um, 12. Mm -mm, it doesn't work that way. The relaxers, the way pH works, it works on the logarithmic scale. So you're not just going from 5 to 12 or 5.5 to 12. You are going from 10 raised to power five if you remember your log table well in um in um secondary school in ss1 logarithms and anti-logarithms yes when they say you should listen you should listen to your teachers this was the one of the reasons why you should have listened see how logarithm and anti-logarithm is affecting your own hair and you don't even know that it's what you did not learn that time that is causing your hair to fall out anyway so when you, you are going from 10 raised to power 5.5 or 10 raised to power 5 to 10 raised to power for my over says um she's a bit behind network is bad well i think that if you watch the replay which will also be available my i don't watch it from youtube i think you should watch it from the link i sent watch it from the from the webinar link i think that would be better i don't know i just think so Anyway, so you are going from 10 raised to power 5 to 10 raised to power 12. Do you understand? So what's 10 raised to power 5? Is that um, 10 raised to power 2 is 100, 10 raised to power 3 is 1,000, 10 raised to power 4 is 10,000, 10 raised to power 5 is 100,000. You are going to 10 raised to power 12. That's the, the pH level. That's what you are going from. You are going in, when you take the relaxers and you, have, and you put those relaxers, you are taking your air from a pH of this to a pH of, do you understand? So you are not just going from 5 to 12. So when, anyway, that's, I'm not saying you should not relax your hair if you want to relax your hair. I mean, whoever, for people who want to relax their hair, that's their, that's what they want. And I'm not going to, this webinar is not to tell anybody not to relax their hair. Anyway, I'm just telling you what can cause hair damage. So when these relaxers come on your hair, they raise your corticals. Then the molecules uh, and the chemicals, they go straight into the cortex which i mentioned i mentioned the cortex and mentioned the corticals they go straight in the cortex and change the texture of your hair the pattern of your hair completely and the disulfide bonds which we discussed in the last webinar are permanently broken the disulfide bonds you know we talked about two forms of bonds we talked about the temporary bonds and the permanent bonds i'm not going to be talking about that in this edition because that's a whole lot of that's a whole topic if you missed the last webinar just go and google temporary bonds and permanent bonds because that webinar is gone now when these disulfide bonds they are the permanent bonds and once they are broken they are broken once your hair is relaxed it can never go back to curly or natural or whatever and once those bonds are broken your hair is more susceptible to damage because these disulfide bonds are what makes our hair curly once they are broken the hair becomes straight a lot of things have been tampered with you get it makes your hair more susceptible to damage and if you guys know my teaching style well i mean if you've listened to me well today you've listened to me at the last webinar you will know that i love using analogies imagine you um you 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 immunize a child when all forms of diseases come that child will be able to stand against those diseases it doesn't mean that the child was well but because the child has been well immunized that's so imagine if that child does not have the proper immune system when the working conditions come 
that child is going to fall ill. So if your disulfide bonds are broken, the relaxers are coming, they've altered everything. By the time the wedging conditions come, your hair will not be able to withstand the, the effects of the environment. That's why people that, that, that have natural hair, they are more able to grow waist-length hair compared to people that have um, relaxed hair. It's as simple as that. Once your hair is natural, you, you, you can, it's easier for you to grow waist-length hair. Do you understand? That's the reason because um, when your hair is relaxed, it's more prone to breakage. Your, di your disulfide bonds have been broken. It's more prone to breakage and so many things can happen. That's the reason why your, I mean, the, 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 the it's, it, I mean, that's just the reason why. Because all the things that are supposed to have protected your hair have been taken away. They've been taken away by the relaxers. They've been broken down by the relaxers. So, um... Yeah, so that's how chemicals can affect your hair. And when, the, you know, you, apart from the hair loss and scalp bones and everything, the, which are, are the, um, you know, which are the side effects of using relaxers and all, when you, you, you know, you're relaxing, you know, you see they overlap this place, overlap the nape of your neck, and they are going on and over and over and over again. Those places are more, you know, that's where the breakage comes. You find that, that the relaxers, those are the places that suffer the, the, the lasting effect of the relaxers because they stay there the longest you get. So um, they, are the, they are the secondary locations of damage because they have the long exposure to all those such of services and all. All right, so let's move on. I mean, we, we all understood that. If you don't understand, just ask me in the Q&A and I'm going to answer. Then heat type. Heat styling. All right, the heat styling can actually have a similar effect on your hair shafts, you get, but it happens slowly over time. You get, unlike the chemical relaxers, which is um, instant, the change is instant, the disulfide broke, um, bonds are broken instantly, everything, the damage occurs, I mean, the whatever, the weakening of the immune system of the hair in coats happens instantly. The, 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 for the heat styling, it's over time. When you use heat over and over and over and over and over again, the cuticles get damaged and sometime later, your hair shaft is weakened and the breakage occurs. So uh, when you, you, you abuse the heat, you have excessive use of heat, the slowly your cuticles begun, begin to get damaged, they begin to get weakened and they lead to breakage. And even this, your disulfide bonds get broken you understand it breaks the disulfide bonds and people you know when you hear people saying oh my i have heat damage i have heat damage this is what they are talking about you get your um the, the, the people start dealing with heat damage the hair never gets um the hair never gets um what do they call it it, it never gets coily again after it becomes straight um th that's what um people call heat damage so yes, uh, another way heat styling causes damage to the hair is that when it can cause, um, she, she, I don't want to go too scientific on you guys, but the, it actually causes blisters to the hair and it leads to, to uh, a, sit, a situation called trichorexis nodosa. This is, I don't, I, you know, I said I don't want to go too scientific on everyone, but if um, if if you go to um, go online, you can Google trichorexis nodosa. But it's basically when your hair has nodes, you get it has nodes at different points of of the of the of the hair. So it's because of heat styling. It's your hair starts breaking. It starts breaking. It's as um, breakage points the i mean our hair when i mean when you have natural hair your hair already has breakage points you cannot imagine your hair having nodes at different points of the hair so that's what happens when you use too much heat and then the breakage occurs you just find out that my hair is breaking my hair is breaking but um it's actually trichorexis nodosa it is t r i c h o double r h e x i s 
Bemnodosa is N O D O S A. It is when your hair has different points of um different nodes at different points of the hair and it causes breakage. This is caused by um frequent heat styling. Some people their hair cannot even withstand so much heat. The first time they already have Chicore 6 Nodosa and it's um that's the end let me quickly give you guys um just when i was in a, um university i had like the long i had relaxed hair my hair was so lovely i had like the longest hair in um uh, in class so one lady saw me she was like man ha huh, your hair is so beautiful you know what just go to bobby's and I've just just go and do your heat styling. Your hair will be bouncing. In fact, you will feel like cutting your head, putting it on the on the table, and just keep looking at your hair. That ah, ah is this my hair that is fine like this? Okay, now as ignorant as I was, I went to Bobby's. I went to. I was like ah, okay. I want heat styling. They did this thing for me. My hair was bouncing and this. They were just... Hmm. Then there was... I didn't have money. I was really broke like a month later. I used to use Dark and Lovely or whatever then. And I went to use... I don't even know whether I should mention the name. Because it would be as if I'm spoiling. Let me mention it because they are relaxers. They are not my competitors. I went to use Ozone Relaxer. Hey, God. Me that had the longest fullest hair i used to i used to struggle to use my hand to hold my hair to pack it i just found that i wanted i just packed my hair and the hair just packed so i was like ah, ah the hair was still long i just i now said let me look at this hair in the mirror i looked at the hair in the mirror and i felt like i was crying i was like is this my hair is this my hair my hair that i used to weave i, I didn't used to, i just used to relax my hair like once in Two months or once in three months, but it was just weaving and weaving. That was all I used to do to my hair. My hair was so beautiful and lovely. My hair was damaged. It was heat styling. It, it was heat styling and relaxed as a, it was it was it was heartbreaking. But yeah, I guess I needed that experience, but that was my journey to getting curious about my hair. Anyway, another way heat styling can help can cause damage to your hair is that. It can cause damage to the cortex. It's very possible that your hair, the heat can go directly and melt the cortex. Because you know I told you that the cortex is where the life of your hair is located. That's what determines everything about your hair. I've discussed that today. I also discussed it last month. Um, if the dryer is too close to your hair, it can melt your cortex. If the coiling iron is left too long it can melt your cortex and once your cortex is melted that hair is damaged so uh, once it's left too long when, once the cortex is melted the 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 air the, the the hair is gone you understand if the cortex is damaged the cortical it means your corticals have been damaged too but sometimes now here is the trick sometimes your cortex can even be damaged on the inside and your corticals are still intact but you know what it's just a matter of time before the corticals are gone because i mean if you have a rotting fish the scales are still intact, but the fish inside is rotting. It's just a matter of time, maybe one day or two days, and the, 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 the fish will fall apart. You get, it may, in, eventually, the damage on the inside and the cortex always reflects on the outside. So um, we, need to, we, need, we need to note that this is, these are the ways heat styling can, 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 can damage our cortex. Yeah, 20 minutes more. Okay, let's finish the last point so we get to the Q&A. All right, then the last one is the abraded cortical. Now, the word abraded is called, what comes from the word abrade, and abrade is just derived from abrasion. Abrasion is friction. You understand? When the friction of your, when your air is um, the, the, how should I put it? The friction is just, when you take high iron sponge and you are, you are, you are scrubbing your pots, man, me and my an analogist, you, you take the iron sponge and you are scrubbing your pots, scrubbing your pots, that's abrasion. And when your abrade abra is, is for the, so 
a braided cortical me basically means when your hair is scraped or when your hair shafts, when your hair cortical is scraped or worn out by friction. That is basically what a braided cortical is. And I'll give you some of the, I'll give you three things that can cause a braided cortical. And let me tell you, spoiler alert, we are all guilty of this. We are all guilty. When you pull your hair too harshly while styling it, especially when wet, your corticals will become abraded. You get to pull your hair anyhow. In fact, there's this interlocking thing I've heard because I just start, I've, you know, I've locked my hair now. So I'm learning more about, um, what do they call it? Uh, locking styles and everything. All those, these things lead to abraded corticals. And once your corticals are abraded, your hair is, your hair is damaged. Because you know, I told you that hair damage is when the corticals rise and don't go down again. Or when the the corticals are totally gone or when your ph balance is out of work so abraded corticals basically means your your, your corticals are totally gone it, it exposes your the cortex and that that's hair damage and that hair is as, go, as good as gone it's just waiting to fall off you get so when the abraded cortical when your corticals are abraded they are gone when you pull your the first thing when you pull your hair too tightly too harshly while styling it especially when wet your corticals are going to be abraded then Friction caused by combing and brushing the hair is another way your corticals can get damaged over time. When you know with styling, there are some airbrushes that can they can literally pull out your hair while while you are brushing them. You understand? They they they, they make you lose your corticals. You get your brushing, you just see some brushes, they are so hard, they are so you know, even some combs. I don't know this. Ah. I don't know how some people can have um, natural hair and we are just using rat tail comb and lash. The corticals are gone. You know, it's, you know, I mean, just give the hair life. Just imagine the hair as life and the hair is crying like, oh, stop put me through this. Oh. You get, anyway, so those corticals are basically gone. Um, yeah, so imagine, just imagine that. So th that's another way when you comb your hair, you brush it too um too much. You know, like when I was my hair was out and oh, I didn't used to comb my hair. I didn't comb my hair till I grew my weight length. I never combed my hair. I, even though I was using my what do they call it, my fingers to finger comb. It was until I started going to salon, which was like the last life before I went on locks. Was that's when I allowed anybody to pass comb and they had to beg me and beg me i was like i don't comb my hair i don't comb my hair i they had to beg me before i finally allowed them to pass a comb through my hair for years i did not allow and that you find out that some people they don't allow combs through their hair and you're thinking oh, why are these people so finicky why are they so this why? but that's how they are able to grow their hair long if you do not have to comb your hair don't comb your hair only comb your hair if you have to your fingers can do the same thing as what a comb can do and let me even tell you the truth the people that invented comb their hair is straight their hair is not our kind of hair their hair is um is 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 straight hair like, with the white people this is not the black man that invented comb comb was not created for our hair comb causes a braided cortical so if you must use it then use it but if you don't have to use it use your your fingers to um comb your hair use your fingers to detangle combs and brushes when they are too i mean too whatever to the hair they are too distinct to the hair they are too you know, hatch on the hair, they lead to a braided cortical. And the last thing that leads to a braided corticals, rubber bands, tight hair braids. Yes, I know some people are very surprised right now. When you use rubber bands on your hair, you get the you know, because that, that rubber bands they are too the ones are so tight around the hair, tight, tight hair braids, they're so tight. Wrapping rollers when you use rollers round your hair, they are so just you know very they are wound around the hair too tightly, they can lead to abraded corticals. You get so we need to be careful now. I'm gonna, I know some ladies, I mean, some of the mothers here, they love to design their daughter's hair to make them you know with colorful rubber bands and make them look good. Now, let me give you a tip soak that rubber band in olive oil first, 
so that you will say that I'm too harsh. I don't want you guys to use rubber. Soak the rubber bands in olive oil first, and you guys will be able to um before you use it on your on your on your daughter's hair, then it should it should be able to withstand the friction. That way, it doesn't have too much friction. All right, so I'm, I want to wrap up now so that I can move into the Q and A session now. Hair loss is different from hair damage, as I said. This time we are dealing with hair damage. Hair loss will be, I mean, forms of hair loss will be in another, in another, in another webinar. But the good thing about hair damage, eh? The good thing about hair damage is that there's a solution. There's a there's there's a solution to hair damage. It's not like um Hair loss. Some hair loss. Ah, man. May God know. I've seen things uh, in my hair clinic. Anyway, because it's most likely your fault, eh? there's most likely a solution. You get, if the issue comes from you, then the solution can come from you, which is why I said it's good news that the issue came from you. You get, unlike hereditary, hormonal, medical, this one is your fault. So it means the solution can come from you. If your particles are braided, a simple air cut. If you know, if you are dealing with abraded corticals, a simple, which was the one I dealt with under the last three that I mentioned. You know, I mentioned three, three ways. Heat styling add three subtopics. Abraded corticals add three subtopics. And chemical add one. You get a sub point. You get, if you are dealing with abraded corticals, a simple air, um, air cut or trim and you're fine. You get, uh, if your issue is um permanently raised corticals your corticals won't lie flat again Pro you can solve it with the right products with the right regimen you will be fine you get but you have to be sure that you don't go back to your sinful ways unless you want to land back where you previously fell it's like as if you went on a diet you want to change your lifestyle you went on a diet you lost weight you looked good two months later you now started eating junk food the way you used to you know that you will go back to where you, you were coming from. So, which is why we are, we are doing this webinar. We don't we need to, we are educating you guys so that you won't go back to your sinful ways. And which is why we raised all those points. So, if um if if your hair is damaged, um if you want um uh, we we have a um, hair regimen documents for the damaged hair. You get um we we help we can help you re repair damaged hair with the right products with the right um um right products right regimen but you need to be true to the regimen we have the an365 natural hair care regimen 365 day natural hair care regimen we have the one for damaged hair you can get that one the one for damaged hair you you need to follow it Sha, because it's for one year and you need to follow everything well stage by stage Every day you do what we say you should do. If you miss it, yeah, you can adjust, but you need to be true to yourself. If you are following the program, follow the program very well. We have the one for damaged hair, which is what we are talking about today. We have the one for children's hair. We have the one for normal hair. We have the one for seborrheic dermatitis. We have the one for the busy bee. For the ones who are too busy, we have the one for dry and itchy scalp. If you are dealing with damaged hair, you can get the one for damaged hair for today if not if you are not dealing with damage there you can get the one that is applicable to you or to your daughter or to your family or your friend and it doesn't matter where you are in the world you can use this regimen there are many good things about the regimen it's an interactive document so for example today is um fourth of august you just go to the doc, doc, um, document just click on fourth of august as i said it's an interactive. it will take you to the things that you are supposed to do for that day the 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 products you need the time required everything is there it's like natural the, the dumbing in quotes that wants to get beautiful hair you get and you can if, but i don't want to talk too much about it just go to hair regimen dot african naturalistas.com hair regimen h a i r r e g i m e n dot africa a f r i c a n a t u r a l i s t a s dot com hair regimen H A I R R E G I M E N dot A F R I C A N A T U R A L I S T A S dot com. Get the one for damaged air or get the one for the one that is applicable to you at a fee 
you just just go there visit and see and tell people about it okay yes i hope you guys get it and when you get yours i need feedback please give us feedback on how it works for you because we want feedback to develop this thing i mean to develop it better and to make better better for you okay now it's time for the q and a thank you i hope you guys have sent in your q and um, your questions if you've not sent in your questions just send them in now so that i answer i'm going to only answer the question i mean this is a live webinar if if you send me questions after today i'm not going to answer you guys until the next webinar so send your questions now i'm going to answer them now because it's just um few people that have asked have asked this thing so um yeah so um afi said my edges have refused to grow and hair as well afi <laughs> that's a very generic question because I really cannot say why your hair has refused to grow and your hair as well. I mean, your edges. Because what I know scientifically, everybody's hair grows. Nobody's hair is um, not growing. Only if you have a medical condition, uh, uh, hereditary condition, hormonal imbalance or whatever, or traction alopecia or whatever, you, but you need to come and see us because we need to be able to diagnose you i know you need help because i i know how desperate people can be when their hair is not growing as needed you get but if your hair has refused to grow you need to you need to um you need to see us to know why because the reason why it's good to know why your hair is not growing before you seek for a solution is because Imagine, you know, when we're, when we're just starting this hair journey, this hair thing, like, this 2018, like, um, seven years ago, you know, people say, yeah, it's coconut oil, yeah, it's castor oil, this, my hair is not great, this, that. and everybody had one or two things to say. But, I mean, some people will use coconut oil and castor oil and their hair will grow back. Probably because it was just traction, simple traction alopecia. And some people use coconut oil and castor oil and for years and their hair will not grow they will use onion they will use pepper they will use everything on their hair and their hair will not grow back why probably they are dealing with androgenic alopecia which is hereditary so it's not about just say my edges my edges are not growing my hair is not growing you need to know you need to diagnose you which is why you need to visit us at the air clinic if you want to visit us at the air clinic or um, i mean just send an email to info at africannaturalistas.com we'll tell you how to how to how, how to meet us our clinic is at aja you get so but you need to you need to aja in lagos nigeria in case um because i know people are watching from different parts of the country i mean different parts of the world so you need to know why before you can seek help so um after you need to seek help you need to come to us you need to see us you need to send us an email so that we can be able to work with you so anyala asked isn't the cortical supposed to rise and fall is it possible for it to stay permanently raised? We, will cold water make it fall? It is possible for your corticals to rise permanently. When your pH is out of work, your, your corticals, once your air is alkaline, mm, so what happens is that acidic, when your air is too acidic, your, 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 your corticals will lie so fast flat against the stuff they won't rise when it's alkaline they will rise so high they won't lie so they are like opposite so if your air if you have been if you have been using you know there's this thing that we used to do when i mean when this old natural hair wave started that people used to do their own concoctions and everything and they were not using ph balance mix and everything and they were dealing with a whole lot of hair damage you find out that the corticals are just risen there permanently they are not using shampoos they are not using conditioners they are probably using baking soda apple cider vinegar egg uh, milk different kind of concoctions and their, 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 their air is not pH balanced. Their air is like either too acidic or too alkaline. Their corticals are just there. Do you understand? So yes, it is possible. When you shampoo your hair, your air rises, the corticals rises, and when you condition it, the corticals lies flat back because of this. There's an antistatic. They call it antistatic in conditioner that makes your hair just 
go back down and smooth things your cuticles and go back but a lot of people do diy things that make the hair go their um their ph go out of whack and the cuticles rise and yeah it's just there and you know when um different things come up they just penetrate the cortex and it basically does damage the hair yes and she said we perma with cold with cold water make it fall if it's damaged um if it's risen and it's not coming down a repair treatment which is i mean those are the things that you get in the in the regimen that we have on a regimen that african naturalist has has come repair treatment you can repair it but it may take more than cold water for it to lie flat because i understand what you're talking about you're talking about freezy hair which is what i have you know we like to use when you use hot water the corticals rise when it's cold it come back. that's freezy hair but i mean when it, there are sometimes that it's not a hot water and cold water issue it's a matter of hair damage that must be repaired and that's why there are some products that are there for, they are repair products they are repair products you get and if i mean if we also if we know our hair well we we'll know that sometimes we've dealt with these things where you just know that my hair is just not summer my hair is just summer my hair is just summer the way my hair is feeling there's something about it and you now find out that okay you use the product you use something and everything now became okay yeah all right um, what are your thoughts on steaming? And you're not asking, what are your thoughts on steaming with shower cap under a steamer? Or steaming air without a shower cap also under a steamer? Well, what I know that shower cap does is that it makes the, the whatever, the product you are using, it makes it penetrate faster. So you are in a steamy so with a shower cap is just creating a an environment it's just a, you're just creating an environment for your hair to absorb the product faster that's it you get so she said under a steamer she didn't say you didn't ask i, I mean i'm talking to you, you asked under a steamer you didn't ask under a dryer because you know there's a difference between a steamer and a dryer so steaming with a shower cap so what a shower cap does because like if I'm, when I was at home, uh, when I used to do my own things myself at home, what, when I was at home, what I do is that um, I just put my shower cap on my head and tie my head with a scarf and just go around the house doing everything I want to do. Because I know that that shower cap or nylon bag, because sometimes I use nylon bag, it creates an, a heat environment or a, 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 a very warm environment. And when that warm environment is there, it makes the pro it just makes the product penetrate faster. You get, if you don't cover your hair with a shower cap and um, you are moving around with the products, it doesn't mean the products will not penetrate. It just means it won't penetrate as fast. You get, so that's what a shower cap does. It makes the, uh, uh, um, it makes the product penetrate faster so yeah so that's it um i don't know if you guys have any other questions um it's 6 59 anyway so i think we did well with timing so yeah and then so if i were you i'll use the shower cap basically because i'm assuming you're saying dryer if it's a steamer there's no need for a shower cap because the steamer already created the environment right it's already that moist steam but if it's a dryer use the um shower cap you get um and everything will go on well yeah so that's that's that i hope you guys enjoyed today's webinar i'm so happy that the internet was so good today i don't know if i mean you guys must have received it so good also i pray that next month when i'm back home the internet will be this good also because to be honest what do we have okay in nigeria we have 4g right I'm using 5G right now. And I know that mobile devices are 3G. You get, I'm using 5G right now. I've never, I mean, I, I never saw 5G until last week. You get, because when last time I traveled, it was 4G that was everywhere. But now I'm, I'm using 5G. That's why it's so fast. You get, but I hope that by next year, I mean, next week, sorry, <laughs> next month, when we have next month's webinar, it's going to be very, it's going to be this fast and this swift also. Um, okay, I'm going to refresh for the questions one last time. If I don't get any other question, it means I will see you guys next month because 
I'm not going to be answering. This is live Q and A. The internet was fine. Everything was fine. But this webinar is going to be available for um, viewing, for watching. If you want to come back and watch and listen to what I said again, it's going to be available from now till um, next week, Saturday. Then it will be taken down. If you your internet messed up along the way, you can go back and watch it. It's going to be done. Um, um, if you have questions for the next webinar, watch out for the information for the next webinar. Start piling your questions. Start joining us. If you have questions, just um, send to us. Um, I mean, keep them, sorry. We'll answer it at the next webinar. So thank you very much. I I'm so glad that people came out today. Even though not all of you asked ask questions, not all of you introduced yourselves. You get, but it's fine. I'm, I'm glad you guys came out and I'm happy that this webinar went on seamlessly. See you guys. Mm, love you from me and the entire African Naturalistas team. Don't forget to visit airregiment.africannaturalistas.com. Love you guys. Bye.